Hi, I'm Mike, Pokey Tips Mike, and I just got back from the gym, so today I have extra energy. Anyway, welcome back to episode number 17 of my Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time, we defeated the 8th and final gym leader in Pokemon Sword and Shield, so now if you look at the bottom of that layout, we have all 8 gym badges. That means today, we're gonna be making our way over to Winden so we can fight in the Pokemon League and take on the champion himself, Leon. We also have one goal, one very important goal for the rest of the randomizer. We need to keep Norbert safe at all costs. Norbert now is our oldest Pokemon. I believe we caught him back in episode 4, and he's been around for a really long time. He's also our highest leveled Pokemon right now, so we need to keep this boy safe. We unfortunately lost our starter very early on, so this is what we have to do. So now let's make our way over to the train station and hop on a train, I guess. But hop, he caught up to me already? Wait up, Poketips! I'm coming too! I had Raihan beat in no time! Once I got my head on straight and stopped doubting every decision I made, that is, heh. Wow, that dude's fast. He was behind me for a long time, but now he's right on the same level as me. And you never stopped nattering on through the entire battle. You're pretty different from the champion in that. But your strength is genuine, as proven by the dragon badge you won from me. You came at me with all the force of a raging storm, and even I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion Cup tournament to face Leon. One of you ought to. I reckon I'm still the favorite to win, but I'm up against my true rival, Poketips. So I'll ring out every last thing I learned during my battle with you, Raihan, to defeat him. What, like talking a whole bunch to distract me? I don't think that's gonna work too well, Hop. I like to talk too. So get a move on, Poketips. The train's waiting. Look at that guy with his approving smile. He's so happy to see us going on to the tournaments. Ah, this is just like the beginning of the game when we hopped on that train to go to the wild area. So nostalgic, and hey look, we're tapping our feet too! Man, I can't believe it. We made it all the way to Winden. I really, really thought at certain points in the randomizer we were going to lose when we ran into some really bad situations. But here we are. Well, let's leave the station and enter the big city itself. Oh wait, we gotta go to Route 10 first, so I guess this is gonna be the final route encounter that we get in Sword and Shield. That is so cool. So this is Route 10. It's like a wall made out of snow. Bet there'll be Ice-type Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in a place like this. Well, we'll see about that, Hop. We'll see about that. Come on, Poketips. Reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up to new heights here before the Champion Cup starts. I believe in myself and the Pokemon on my team, and I know we'll all get loads stronger. So I'm off. See you in Winden, mate. All right, let's get our final route encounter, which is a Lunatone. Is it really a Lunatone? The Moon Pokemon. Well, that's different. It's definitely different. Can't really say that this is too hype of a final encounter, but hey, if the game wants to give us a Lunatone, there's gotta be a reason for it, right? So let's go for this Quick Ball. I've had a lot of luck lately with Quick Balls, but apparently I don't have luck today. So I guess we're back to the old strategy of weakening the Pokemon. Now Lily, the Pokemon I want to use a bunch today because she's brand new, actually gets Hypnosis, just like Goyle does. So I'm hoping Lily with her Hypnosis has better accuracy than Goyle does. Well, because you guys have been watching the recent episodes, you guys know how much I miss Hypnosis. It's just terrible. Oh wait, no, this thing is Stone Edge, don't kill Lily! Ooh, that's scary! That's- I did not know it was packing the Stone Edge. Well, you know what? Today, we are not going to try out Hypnosis. And also, a lot of Pokemon on my team are weak to Rock. That's definitely something to note. So, right now, I'll swap into Norbert. I don't think there's too much this thing can do to Norbert, right? <laughs> yeah, this Lunatone was going for the kill right there, going for another Stone Edge. So, let's try to catch this thing quickly. All right, Lunatone, I don't have any Moon Balls, but I do have 36 Ultra Balls, so you're gonna get in one of them. And there we go, we caught Lunatone! Now this isn't going to be my final encounter ever in the randomizer. We still have a few more Pokemon in the wild area that we could catch, so I'll definitely be going back soon. Now this Lunatone, I'm gonna name it Lupin, after Remus Lupin. He's a pretty cool character in Harry Potter, so much depth, and he turns into a werewolf whenever the moon comes out. I was saving that name for a werewolf Pokemon, but I don't really think there's anything good to catch anymore, and our odds of getting something like that are kind of low now that we've basically finished up almost all of our encounters. Ooh, Galarian Ponyta, that would've been cool though. Oh, and there's this champ right here, the Conkle Bee! Oh, that's perfect! <laughs> this is one of my favorite Sword and Shield mods, like, ever, because it is just so ridiculous. 
Here we have a combi with three Conkelders as its head. Ugh, oh, that right there, that is one of the best Pokemon in all of the Galar region. Well, unfortunately we have to run away from that. Now that would have been a crazy thing to catch too. Well, I think we've seen enough. Lots of moons. Yep, lots and lots of moons. So let's go over here and fight this doctor. Buddy, are you cold out here? Do you have any injured Pokemon? I'm a doctor. It's weird that we lead off saying that, considering he wants to hurt my Pokemon by battling me. Ooh, a Frost Moth. That's a shiny. That's definitely a shiny. Look at those green eyes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shiny. Ugh, I don't know what to do. This is a really interesting situation to be in right now. I have so many cool Pokemon, because we could keep going back to the wild area and catching more and more and more Pokemon. Wait a second, I should have stopped talking and I should have probably swapped out this thing. Oh, Fury Cutter. Okay, that's good. That won't kill me, but it's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, I just remembered at like the last second that thing is part bug type, which might do some serious damage to me if it had something strong like Bug Buzz. But yeah, like I was saying, I have so many cool Pokemon in reserve right now in the boxes because we keep going back to the wild area and catching plenty of new Pokemon. So it's tough to decide what to use on the team. I had to put Cho away a little bit because I was using Cho so much and I know half of you guys want to see me use Cho, half of you guys want to see me use Dumbledore, and nobody really says anything about poor Grindylo right now. I think I'm the only one that's trying to like force myself to use Grindylo right now. Alright Grindylo, hit this Air Slash and knock out that shiny Frost Moth. Oh, such a beautiful, beautiful Pokemon. It's a shame that it has to go down. Alright, Doctor, what's your second Pokemon gonna be? And it's probably whatever it is is gonna make you swap out. Oh my gosh, no you don't. You have your own Verizion. I feel tempted to stay in with Grindylow and just try. Try to get an Air Slash off on it, but if it goes for anything, literally anything, probably even a resisted fighting move, why do you have Sleep Powder? Why do you have to be that way? Well, I guess anything but Sleep Powder, but if it went for any attacking move, we would have probably lost Grindylow right there. Seriously though, why do you have sleep powder? That would be so good to have. Also, in between the episodes, I went back to the movie learner and taught Dumbledore Dragon Claw, so that might be interesting to use later on. Okay, Confuse Ray and Sleep Powder. This is definitely a contender for one of the most annoying Pokemon I've ever fought in this randomizer so far, but I think we could use a full heal right now and get rid of all these annoying status conditions, so we might as well go for that. Actually, you know what? We might as well, if we're gonna use an item, let's use a full restore. Now that we have eight badges, we could actually buy full restores and they are so, so good. So let's get rid of that confusion. Let's get rid of that hypnosis. I mean, let's get rid of that sleep, but it's gonna put me right back into that confused state again. Did it know? Did it know I was gonna use a full restore? Well, this guy is a doctor, and I know doctors have to go through a lot of schooling, so he is pretty smart, and he probably predicted that play. Oh my gosh, why are you like this? My guy, just attack me. The hail at this rate, the hail is gonna knock you out before I get a chance to knock you out. Yeah, this guy is literally going for Confuse Ray and Sleep Powder every single turn. I don't think he wants to attack me. He just wants to be annoying. Forget items for a little bit because he's just gonna try to do the same thing to me over and over again. So let's wake up here. Come on, Dumbledore. Yes, end this madness. End this battle. This is torture. Oh, thank you, Dumbledore. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was cool that you had a legendary Pokemon, but not like that, buddy. Not like that. Don't do stuff like that. Dr. Graham. What's this? What's this? My Pokemon ended up injured. Yeah, that's what happens when you battle the person that's gonna try to be the champion. Oh, I totally forgot! We have this guy on the team, too! Yes, let's evolve, Peeves. Now, I saw a lot of you guys in the comment section said that you want me to evolve Peeves. And I am so down for that, but I feel like Peeves, the Haunter now, has to earn its evolution. 0.2 pounds, this thing is super light. So I'm thinking... No, Shadow Punch is a terrible move, that's not what I was thinking. But I'm thinking, if Peeves can win, or just defeat three Pokémon in battle, then next episode I'll let it go ahead and evolve, I'll trade it and evolve it. Also, I guess this is where that Eviolite comes in handy right now. Since we can't evolve Peeves immediately, it'll be nice having that Eviolite, which will boost its defenses up decently. So it might actually be usable. You know what? I'll give Peeves a shot right now. I know Peeves is only at level 46, and the opponents here are definitely higher level than that, but we'll give it a shot. Wow, this area is so beautiful. Look at these mountains over there. And there's this guy. Now, that's what I'm talking about. This is the type of stuff that you need to wear if you want to explore the cold environment. Hiker Douglas definitely came prepared. Meanwhile, me, I'm barely wearing anything. Ooh, beware. It's been a really long time since I've seen one of those bewares. 
And you know what? I'm actually kind of happy that we're using Peeves against this Beware. We're immune to its stab moves, however, we can't really do much back to it, so I guess I'll try to burn it, lower its attack a little bit. So whatever this thing wants to do to me, it's probably not going to do as much as you would think. Ooh, Sunny Day. That's interesting. That's interesting. If it has a Fire-type move to go along with the Sunny Day, that might be dangerous. And wow, look at the way it just illuminates the battlefield right there. Ooh, that looks beautiful! I like this route so much more in the sun, actually. So you know what, Peeves? Let's earn this evolution. We're gonna go for the not-very-effective Dark Pulse, because that's really all we can do right now. Unless this does, like, two damage. If it does- if this does nothing, I'll swap out. Yeah, that's looking like it's doing nothing, but we got the flinch, so you know what? We'll try it again. We'll try, try again until we don't get a flinch, until this thing turns out to be a threat. Yes, two flinches in a row. Let's go, Peeves. That Dark Pulse and Burn combo are actually doing a pretty decent amount of damage. There we are at half health. Can we get three? Oh no, it's using no retreats. Wow, that is a cool animation. All right, Peeves, this is it. Don't hit me with anything. Max Flutterby. All right, well, that came out of nowhere. Again, those Max Hoos are bugged and only do like one damage, so we have nothing to worry about there. But that actually came out of nowhere. Max Flutterby. Well, fantastic job, Peeves. Only two more victories, and then I'll let you evolve into a Gengar. And let's see, what's his second Pokemon? Toxicroak. Let's go for that strategy again. Let's burn it. Ooh, it's got the Pyro Ball. Oh, that looks weird coming from Tox- No! Oh my gosh! No! Peeves! That's awful! You are at full health! Why does a Pyro Ball from Toxicro kill you? Oh no! Peeves, I was really hoping that I was gonna get to evolve you and use you! Man, that is rough. Oh wait, what am I- I am not- I am not with it right now. I'm just thinking in terms of regular stuff right now. I'm thinking, oh yeah, Lily can finish this off with a psychic move. No, it can't. This thing has Pyro Ball. It literally just killed me with Pyro Ball. Oh man, that's awful. That's so, so bad. Yeah, that would have taken me out there too, so at least I turned my brain on for a second. Wow, even resisted, that's doing so much damage. You know what it was? It's that stupid sunny day that that thing set up last time. If it wasn't for the sunny day, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, we would have been able to live that Pyro Ball. That is so unfair that we lost him right there. Yeah, I was trying to figure out why. Why that would happen. Well, we'll go for the Flamethrower here, I believe, since it has the ability Dry Skin, Fire Moves actually do more to it. So that's pretty cool. And you know what? Let's finish him off right now with the Flamethrower. You stupid Toxicroak killing Peeves just like that. I can't believe that. I really can't believe that. I thought Peeves was fine there. Peeves even has the Eviolite to boost up its defenses. I know Peeves' defenses aren't great, but you know, with the Eviolite, you'd think you'd be able to take something. I guess not, though. Ugh, rest in peace, Peeves. Well, let's bring Goyle back onto the team for a little bit. Again, so many options, so many fun Pokemon to use, so I want to give everybody a little shot. And let's see, ooh, Galarian Zigzagoon's hiding over here. We've got Hitmonchan. I remember that from the Let's Go Randomizer. Kind of wish I had one of those. Oh, wow, look at Malamar right over there. Hello, Goyle. Kind of funny that I'm bringing Goyle back. Zatu's doing some spins over there, having a good time. And now let's go ahead and battle... What is this guy? Is this a postman? Yeah, I think so. The post. I wonder just how long we could keep on carrying letters like this. Yeah, dude, I don't know about that. Like, real talk for a second, I feel so bad for all the post office workers whenever it snows. Out here in New York, it snows a lot, and those guys, even in the snow, they have to come and deliver your mail. Lots and lots of respect for those guys. Well, let's go ahead and beat this postman in Pokemon now. Dumbledore hit him with a nice, powerful flamethrower. Ooh, three hit KO. Oh no, this thing is gonna be like the mill tank and have rollout, which on the first try does an insane amount of damage. Dumbledore, I know you're really, really weak to rock, but that's insane. Oh, this is another one of those situations where I don't have any good switch-ins. As soon as it stops using rollout, well, if I bring Norbert or Goyle in, it'll have super effective moves for that, and anybody else that I send in is weak to rollout, which is only going to be stronger this turn. So I guess we can try bringing out Norbert right now. I feel like Norbert would probably have the best chance at being able to survive something in this very moment. Again, we got to protect Norbert with all costs, so if Norbert starts getting low, we're definitely swapping out. 
All right, how much is this thing gonna do with rollout now? Oh, good, that's nothing. That's so nothing. That's irrelevant. All right, so Thunderfang and, ooh, almost knocking it out. It's gonna go for rollout one more time, which will do more, but Norbert can definitely take that. But the hail is adding up too. Not liking that. So Norbert, we've had trouble with you before missing. Please don't miss right now. Just do the Thunder Fang. Hit it. There we go. There we go. Oh, and the critical hit too to seal the deal. How nice. Oh, that was a scary situation. Dumbledore took so much damage from that rollout and that was the first turn. And Primarina. Love that thing's cry. Well, we're going to make that thing cry in just a moment after we heal up Norbert. Ooh, it's got knockoff, though. What am I holding? I know I'm holding some. Oh, it's the fairy berry. Yeah, the fairy berry. And now that it knocked off my fairy berry, I'm a little scared of this thing. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Because there's a chance it might have a fairy move, and that would definitely kill Norbert right now, since we don't have the berry to weaken it. What I'll do here is swap into Bellatrix. Now, I know that's a crazy play because everything Bellatrix has is resisted by this Primarina, but I'm hoping this Primarina does just enough damage to swap me out. Fishiest Rand, ooh, it's going for that. It's going for the Mr. Fish strats, but I'm hoping it'll do just enough damage to bring me out into my Mr. Rhyme, and then I can go for a freeze dry on this thing, which is super effective. So yeah, hit me with another Fishiest Rand. That's cool, that's fine. And you know what, we're gonna go for a Sucker Punch right now, so we guarantee that we go first and it doesn't do an insane amount of damage. I believe if it goes for Fishiest Friend again, it'll do just enough to get us into the yellow zone. But I didn't want to risk it doing more damage getting a crit. So now we'll Emergency Exit, and we can jump right back into Lily, who's chilling with full health. Now Lily, let's make this Primarina chill, see I've got all the puns today, with Freeze Dry. I love that move so much. It's so cool having an ice move that gives you good coverage against water types. Lily, I could tell. Lily is going places. All right, Postman, we're going to have to say goodbye to you. Good luck with your deliveries, though. And let's see. We keep going this way. Ooh, that is a big, big elephant right there, and its nose almost killed me. I feel like that's a little danger right there, having that thing run around on the routes of Galar. And let's see. No more trainers, right? Please don't... Oh, another Chandelure. Well, let's dodge that thing. Oh, Moody! Moody! Oh, I miss Moody so, so, so much. That's insane, though. This thing is at level 55, so it's a good thing I had those Poké Dolls. Can I just... Oh, wait, no, maybe I could... Oh, wow, you have crazy good vision. Well, to be fair, there is really nothing blocking us, but they were off screen, so I'm impressed that Hiker Donald was able to see us all the way over there. Ooh, Boltons! Oh, that was shiny. I really couldn't even tell. I guess I don't know this thing too well, but to me, those colors looked almost identical to the regular colors. Well, Norbert, your turn. Ooh, Fusion Bolt. Good thing I got Dumbledore out of there, because look at that move. <laughs> that would absolutely slaughter Dumbledore, but it does nothing to Norbert. So you know what? Today, we're going to try out that new Breaking Swipe move that we got from defeating Raihan. Ooh, it's got Thunder Punch now. Why don't you go for that when you have Fusion Bolt? Wow, that does so much damage. Oh, but it's competitive, so it's special attack rose. I don't really think that's going to matter too much, though. Thunder Punch and Fusion Bolt are both physical attacking moves, so we don't care about that special attack boost. Norbert, break this thing. And your second Pokemon is, ooh, this thing. See, this is what I really wanted to have Peeves on the team for. Because right now, we don't have anything great against Fairy types. Sap Cannon, no, you're not gonna kill Dumbledore like that! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, is the hail- No, the hail isn't gonna do enough, right? The hail is not gonna do enough, oh my gosh. I'm scared to bring anybody into this. I guess we'll bring Lily in, but wow, Zap Cannon from this little thing. Who would have ever thought? Oh, and you're going to hit it twice. Of course you got to hit it twice. Now, Lily takes it a lot better, but we don't like being paralyzed. And everybody is out to kill Dumbledore today, though, with the rollout before and the Zap Cannon from this thing. Oh, wow, critical hit. We're down to 19 health and we got paralyzed. Well, we are definitely not going to make our way over to Winden easily, as these trainers are showing us. Again, I'm so glad we could buy full restores now. Please don't hit it again. Thank you for finally missing one. But I'm so glad we could get the full restores, because these things are so annoying. Well, I'll go for Psychic now. I could have also went for Hypnosis, but I... 
felt like I was gonna miss Hypnosis. You know how sometimes you could just feel things with Pokemon moves? You could, like, kind of tell if they're gonna work or not? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm too crazy. I play too much Pokemon. But I had a strong hunch right there that just going for two Psychics like I did right here was the better play. And it worked out great for us. It missed another Zap Cannon, and we won the battle. Are we done with trainers? No, we're not. We've got this guy with the nice umbrella. I don't really know what you need an umbrella in the Hailstorm for. And I guarantee you he has that insane vision too. We're gonna try sneaking by him. We're gonna try going all the way over here. But, nope. They see us. The way you carry yourself, you are something. This episode is really turning out to be something. So many Pokemon battles. But, ooh, a shiny Rillaboom! That looks really cool! Alright, we've seen a lot of shinies, and it has the hidden ability too, Grassy Surge. That'll be nice getting healed up, it'll kind of like neutralize the hail there. But yeah, we are seeing a lot of shinies this episode, but this by far, as you could probably tell from my reaction to seeing it, this one is definitely my favorite. It's unfortunate that it's going down so quickly. Oh, what berry do you have right here? What stat is getting raised? Raising your speed, that's cool. Icicle Crash, that's also cool, does neutral damage to us. How crazy would it be? Wait a second, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> of course it's gotta be a critical hit. I know we're so close to finishing this thing off, but I'm afraid of it being faster than me with that berry boost. So I think this is an okay switch, right? Bellatrix? Let's give it a try. If it wants to go for Icicle Crash again, which it should, there's no reason it should go for a Grass move right now. Let's just hope we're okay. Let's just hope we're okay. Yes, Icicle Crash is great. You do that. We will resist it and live. And now let's first impression and finish off this Shiny Rillaboom. Such a shame. I really wish there was an option where I could just catch some of these trainers Pokemon, like it was XD or something. Ooh, how cool would this be in like Colosseum or XD, having the boosted shiny rates and being able to actually catch their shiny Pokemon? Are you serious? You have two shinies? I feel like this gentleman over here kind of turned on his action replay. That's a lot of shinies on that team. Oh no. Wait a second, that's not- okay, good. And let's see, hopefully this liquidation will do enough right here to knock out this Vespaquen. It might live though, let's see. Great job, Bellatrix. Ooh, the critical hits. These crits, I feel like I'm always getting the crits right when we need them the most. And now I'm not really sure if that one mattered, but I felt like it mattered. Okay, the grass is going away, and your final Pokemon, is this also going to be a shiny? Noivern? No, regular Noivern, breaking the streak. Well, as much as I feel like you're on a roll right now, Bellatrix, we are gonna swap you out. I really don't want to take, like, a Hurricane or an Air Slash, whatever this thing might want to throw at me that would be super effective, and we'll bring in Grindylo. Oh, Pluck. I'm not sure if we could have survived a Pluck, but I don't really want to take it. Alright, Grindy Grindy, let's go for an Icy Winds, and let's see how much this does. It's not gonna knock it out, but what is nice here is it's gonna lower its speed. Usually that makes me faster than whatever I'm fighting, but Noivern is a very fast Pokemon. Yeah, see, it's still outspeeding me, even with this lowered speed. But we will be able to knock it out here with the Icy Winds. Man, this guy's team was crazy. Two Shinies, and even a Noivern, too. Gentleman Glenn, give me some of your shinies, but that 10,000 Poké Dollars, that is pretty nice. And, oh no, it looks like there's a mandatory double battle over here. This route is really making me use all my potions because I don't want to go back and heal. I'm just way too stubborn to do that. So let's jump into the battle against these guys over here. It's been a while. I'm glad we can meet up again. Let's see how strong you've gotten. Oh yeah, it's these guys from that route really early on. I think it was like Route 5, really early on in the game. Jillian and Cam. And they've got a Torkoal and a Cobalion. The legendary we saw all the way back in the beginning of the game. It really feels like this episode, we're coming full circle. We're seeing a lot of stuff that we just have not seen in a really long time. So, you know, against that legendary, we've got to go use both of our Pokemon against it. Although, ooh, wait, it is Crab Hammer, which is not going to kill Dumbledore. Good. It is not going to kill Dumbledore. We are not losing Dumbledore to this thing. Perfect. Perfect. That's how we take it out. What I was worried about there was the Torkoal hitting Lily, which is still a threat. Which is definitely still a threat. Wait, who's learning Superpower? Oh, Superpower is actually pretty cool. I think I'll teach a Superpower over Pluck. That might be useful. If only it had the Contrary ability, that would be so good. But yeah, here's the scary part. What is going to happen with this Torkoal? Because we're not going to one-shot the Torkoal with Psychic. It's going for Water Pulse. Oh, wait, no! That's even scarier! Dumbledore! No! 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 I love 
Charizard! I was really hoping we were gonna be able to go through the whole game with Dumbledore on our team. That is so upsetting! Oh man, Dumbledore. Well, you did your best, buddy. Thank you so much. That's so dumb. We got hit by Water-type moves from two Pokémon that normally never have Water-type moves. Water Pulse Torkoal sealing the deal. I honestly really thought that the Torkoal was going to be more of a threat for Lily. Oh, this thing's got Nuzzle. That thing can always be annoying because you know we always get fully paralyzed once we're paralyzed. Let's see, the Breaking Swipe hits both of them. I was kind of hoping that Lily was going to go before the Torkoal because now, oh wow, yeah, Torkoal's really slow. Very good, I'm glad we were able to take out that Torkoal anyway. I was worried about it taking out two of my Pokémon right there, because that was definitely a possibility. Well, now you guys see why I'm so scared of double battles. Raihan's gym actually went really, really easily for us, and it didn't show how scary double battles are for me, but right here you can see why, because they could gang up on my Pokémon, and just like that, I lost Dooku, who would not have died normally. Ooh, Max Flutterby. Good thing that's not the full power one, because that probably would have killed Lily right there. Let's go for Breaking Swipe, that'll knock out that Sinchino and probably make that Hitmontop less of a threat too. Love that lowering attack stat, really, really good. Oh, that's just so sad, looking at this menu, everybody's getting XP, but now you're dead. And Meteor Assault, come on, don't take out two of my guys right now, we're not playing that game today. Oh, so good, so good. I think Breaking Swipe actually saved me right there. There is a chance. That if it did not have his attack lowered, Hitmontop would have done enough damage right there to knock out Lily too. These guys could have taken out two of my Pokemon right there. We got so lucky. We got so, so lucky. Wow, Dumbledore, you were not supposed to go. Also, I just realized I put Peeves in the wrong box. It's one in the morning when I'm recording this, so I'm a little tired. But yeah, Dumbledore, you were supposed to be around forever. I was never supposed to lose you. You will certainly be missed. Well, now we have a slot for a fire type again, so I think we'll bring Cho back onto the team. I do want to start using this Chandelure, because a ghost type would be a good Pokemon to have as well, but I think I'll change the team up once we finally get to Winden. And I think that might be here, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've done this. Oh yeah, look at that view. Finally made it. That was a tough route. That was the equivalent of like Victory Road for another Pokemon game. Well, my friends, since we made it over the hill, I think now is a great time to end this episode. Next time, we'll finish our journey, we'll walk down this hill, and enter Winden, so we can finally start taking on the Pokemon League. This episode was surprisingly rough. I forgot Route 10 was as difficult as it was, but my team did the best that they could. So, my friends, I'll see you next time, where we take on Winden.